works through Amazon. It's a short human hair bob. It's a 10 inch lace front wig. So this video was sponsored by Anisha's by the company and I'm going to open it up, show you what it looks like and then I'm not going to talk anymore until the end of the video. brushes I'm gonna ap apply try to apply uh, even amount and tip my lace with this
get this hair from a company named Anisha. Anisha's Wigs is the name of the company. Um, they contacted me through um, Instagram and I agreed to um, choose one of the three wigs that they had um, sent me as options as um, pictures. And of course, I'm kind of I kind of have a thing for straight wigs right now. And this is my first time actually trying a real bob. I believe this is asymmetrical because it kind of comes in like that. I really like it. I've seen a lot of reviews about it. Now this week is under a hundred dollars. It's very affordable. I believe it goes for seventy dollars on um, Amazon. Of course, this wig was sent to me. I didn't pay for it. I didn't use my own money. So um, yeah. So. This wig is nice. I really, really like it. It's soft. It's light. It's maybe about 130 in density. And it lays really, really flat. Um, I'm trying to get into the hang of doing glueless wigs. And this was supposed to be an invisible lace. So this was the first time I actually tried an invisible lace. And it's pretty nice. It's very soft, flowy. And as I did say, it does have a little smell to it, but what you gotta do is like wash it and you know, condition it or whatever, and just like no. So, do I recommend this wig? Yeah, I, I do recommend it because I like it so much. The parting is nice, it's 13 by 4, so you don't get that much parting space, so you can't do a really deep side part but you can do a part like right here and then curve it back. That'd be really nice if you wanted to try that. So you can do that or you can put the part over here, but don't go too far because it is a 13 by four and there's not there's not any part in space over here. So those of you that like the parts to be like deep, deep side parts, you can't do that. Let me try to show you the part in space without messing up what I already did. And this wig does have some flyaways, but it's not bad. So you got, yep, you can't really go too much. So I did go a little bit too far. So you got a part like right by the part, but I recommend you just leave it as is because it's really pretty the way it is. So just, you know, do the middle part. That's what I recommend. It's really, really pretty. Um, if this was a closure, of course you can put it all the way to the side, but it's not. So it's um, a frontal and it's comes from ear to ear. It's very nice. Only thing I used was this Gots To Be Spray, the Gots To Be Glued and spritz because i wanted it to really really stick usually i would have used my bolt hole and that's what i'm going to use next time because this wig is very pretty and i want to make sure that i lay it like all the way down and it like melt melt because i'm used to just using the glue and I'm basically trying to try something new because I'm always doing the same thing and everybody, um, well, a lot of YouTubers are doing the glueless method and I mean, all I do usually when I have the wig in more than a week is just rip it off in my sleep when I do the adhesive. So I might as well just try the, you know, the glueless method when you just use the spray and the got to be glue. So I'm trying that now. So I've been doing it for about two to three weeks. And so far it's nice. It's just a little bit harder for me because I'm not used to it. But um, that's when I'm not planning on wearing the wigs for too long. My only con about this wig is that it doesn't have a comb in the back. Most wigs come with combs in the back, but if you do receive this wig and that's an issue for you, all you have to do is take a few bobby pins and just, you know, push it in the back. The wig won't go nowhere. 
It does have three combs in the front. It has one here and two on the sides. So you can utilize those. Or as I said, just take you a few bobby pins and you know, stick it through the bag. So go and purchase this wig. It's on Amazon. If you um, do purchase it, comment down below and let me know your thoughts. What do you rate it? Um, anyway, that's it for this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I have a lot more work to do, a lot of more, um, a lot more unboxing. Oh my God, I can't talk tonight. A lot more unboxing, and I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye.